And something that you can't make up, and you kind of have to, like, you, like you, you turned your head once or twice just to make sure you heard uh, what you think you heard. And this was actually after a... Now, I'll, be, I'll make a f- confession here. I'm a Ioannis uh, Cespedes fan. Because he's on my fantasy team, I don't. I was just impressed what he did for the Mets 2015 for that run, and I'm probably should have said, you know, to myself that was 2015. What am I still holding on to? I had him on my fantasy team then. I have him on my fantasy now, team now. But Cespedes, who's who was injured for, uh, you know, quite some time, came back. He came back, and. He casually, in a, in a post-game interview, says, uh, yeah, that I, I might need a major heel surgery, and I, I could be out uh, six to eight months. And, and apparently, no one uh, in the Mets organization knew this, and uh, it made him scratch the head, like, what is going on? And typical uh, Mets, you might say, uh, Really don't know what one hand is doing, uh, you know, what the other hand's doing, or too many chefs in the kitchen. Now, is it possible that Cespedes wants to have the surgery done now to be ready for next year, but the administration, the higher ups, are telling him to play through the injuries and kind of slip from Cespedes' mouth? How many times have you seen this with players in how many years now, right? David Wright's soldier's shoulder surgery uh, turned into spinal stenosis. Syndergaard was out two months for a finger. DeGrom and Rivera's injuries were normal until both of them got season-ending surgeries. Johan Santana. I'm not even going to wonder uh, about Cliff Floyd, Delgado, and those type of guys there. I mean, if you're a Met fan, you might say to yourself, enough is enough. When is the administration... uh, feet? When are their feet going to be held to the fire by someone? Even in 2005, uh, Pedro pitched when he was injured. Uh, did, did he want to pitch? Did he not want to pitch? Did the administration throw him out there? Uh, did Cespedes come back for that Yankee series because it's against the Yankees and he wants, uh, uh, you know, and he still cares about uh, whether he wins or loses to the Yankees. A lot of things go in mind. Or is it simply. A case where the Mets are not to blame for this one. Is it a case where someone, you know, close to uh, Cespedes' um, camp, whether it be a friend, associate, told Cespedes that, listen, you're being killed on social media. That you're being cold soft. That you really don't want to play. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, Cespedes kind of exaggerates an issue which really wasn't an issue in the first place. Could that be possible? And could you say, well, the Mets organization is really not blamed to this for this? That that's uh, a question that begs to be answered. But uh, it, it's just you can't medical issues and stuff with the Mets. It, it just they just say, it can't seem to get away from it. It just seems to follow them wherever they go. So you really don't know who's to blame on this one. You would hope that maybe Cespedes felt the raft, that that he really doesn't play hard, that he cares about the money, is what fans are saying here in New York. And he said to himself, you know what? I got to defend myself somehow. And he over-exaggerated the injury. Do you believe that? Or do you truly believe that Cespedes is really hurt and on the brink of needing major heel surgery. Uh, I believe he's going for an MRI and time will tell. He hasn't been in the lineup, um, um, you know, Saturday. Uh, Game was rained out yesterday, so we will see. I hope all is well.